So hi, this is Art Post 47 and um, my name is Chris Erskine and I'm an urban landscape artist. I'm just walking to um, 28 Forrester Drive um, uh, in Hamilton um, at 28 <clears throat> and that is where supposedly one of the members of the Forrest family was buried at one time and it's not clear whether the grave is still there or what but um, <clears throat> because he committed suicide they did buried him on a, a plot of land that wasn't in the family cemetery and I don't know if there was a family cemetery but um, it certainly wasn't there and um, it wasn't in a church ceremony, uh, uh, cemetery so I'm just uh, taking a walk there and looking for the house um, at one time it was uh, buried by, or the tombstone was next to a cedar tree, and that was in 1945. Uh, they had moved it to the, I believe, the front of the property, and then um, from there, I don't know what's happened. I doubt very much that the tombstone would be still, uh, still there. Um, so, as far as this week is concerned, I've been busy with my um, uh, painting commission. Um, I'm way behind. I should have been should have done that uh, quite a long time ago should have been much further along so I'm you know a little bit in risk of not having it done and um, I'm working on a, a film a short film promotional project as well and uh, I'm just uh, today I'm doing some sound checking I'm going to do an interview uh, a re voiceover uh, <coughs> tomorrow because the sound quality wasn't great on the original work so um, yeah so that's where I'm at and uh, again busy with kids uh, I had to install some security cameras uh, around the studio because I had some vandalism uh, a vandalism at the place and so that's uh, been unfortunate um, and so I've uh, just got a monitor in from the states so I can monitor it properly and uh, yeah, it's part of uh, modern life, I guess. Um, again, there's um, just behind these houses are it's a bit of a ravine and creek, um, and again, it's it follows the tradition of sorry, I'm just trying to keep the sun out of direct light. Following the tradition of uh, cemeteries being on an edge of uh, a farm property where they couldn't really till properly, so they uh, would. Um, put it at the edge and generally a very a picturesque location um, usually with good drainage and that sort of thing so it makes sense that it'd be on the edge of a ravine and then when they put houses in here uh, after the Second World War well I'm at 48 so somehow I've missed it so I'm gonna have to double back and take a look see that the numbers seem to have jumped very high um yeah so um um yeah so and again he uh he the gentleman had uh committed suicide this is number 36 committed suicide and um and uh he uh, uh so the family had to bury him i think they buried him actually where they found him so anyhow uh take care